Good morning, traders. This is Bruce at VeloxPro. If you can hear me and see my screen, can you just type yes in the questions? I believe my audio is working. All right. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the order flow uh, in Bookmap. Uh, and uh, just go through a, a few things first, and then uh, we'll get right into the order flow. Uh, risk disclaimer, uh, trading futures and options on futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information, go to bookmap.com, become a free member there, and get uh, access to a lot of resources and reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com. If you wanna give Bookmap a try, uh, this is where you can find it. Just uh, explore, hit the pricing tab. It's down here, uh, and um, uh, you can see that there's um, the basic version uh, and the advanced version. Now you get a 14-day trial period for for either. Uh, and uh, if you don't like it during that 14-day trial period, just let us know, uh, and we'll cancel it. Uh, your credit card's not charged, so um, uh, but you will need to put it down. Okay. Uh, if you want to stick with it, then just uh, uh, don't do anything and uh, we will uh, begin the uh, subscription. Okay. Uh, the difference between the two, uh, not only the price and they are billed quarterly, uh, is the, um, uh, the add-on features here and especially the ability here to, to trade from the chart. Okay. Um, nice book map action in the ES right now. Okay. Well, we'll take a quick look. Um, uh, let me uh, show you where you can find the uh, webinars. Uh, the It's under the uh, uh, portal. You will need to sign in. Uh, you can click on this link here. Uh, this will take you to the registration page. Okay. Here, uh, this is today's webinar, and it ends today, okay, on the 10th. Uh, I just added the other webinar here for next week, so you can uh, uh, register for that right now if you like. Okay. All of the recorded webinars and videos are under this education tab. Uh, you can see the bookmap recorded webinars here. Just click this link and that'll take you to the YouTube page. Okay. Here in the YouTube page, you can see on the play, on the right hand side, the playlist of all of the recorded webinars. And this is the recorded webinar from the third. Okay. We don't want that. I've got it here. Okay, so yeah, the ninth. Uh, just you, you'll click up here and get to the one that's uh, from the ninth here. Okay, so actually, let me write that down so we take care of that. Okay. Um, yeah, ask any questions here. Uh, this is uh, your time to go over uh, any kind of issues that you have, uh, any um, uh, clarity. Uh, but the thrust of these uh, these webinars here is to go over the order flow and show you uh, what Bookmap can, um, uh, how Bookmap can give you an advantage uh, at these areas. Okay, just by looking at a very objective, transparent view of the market. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's take a look here. All right, so we're gonna look at some higher time frames first, uh, just outline uh, some uh, areas, and then uh, then we're gonna look at the book, okay? We wanna look at the order flow at these specific areas. Uh, and that, that allows you to pinpoint your entries, your exits, and, and your trade management, okay? So let's look, take a look here, okay? Uh, 15 minute chart on the ES. Okay, you can see, we obviously we had non-farm, it was very good. Uh, news and uh, we saw a nice move to the upside. Uh, we had some lines drawn in here, okay, from previous uh, analysis. Let me see, what do we have here? Sorry, just a moment. Okay, yeah, it's up here at this level, our 60 um, or 76 level. Uh, and we can see we just just tapped it and uh, and fell right back down. Now I haven't even put in lines for today yet. Okay, so uh, uh, what I am eyeing though is uh, this area down here at 61. Uh, that's what we were looking at previously. Okay, and let's uh, zoom in. Now this is a 15 minute chart. Okay, this is where they were buying before. We can see the big candlestick wick here. All right, so uh, you can see that maybe they're starting to cover here. Maybe they're starting to buy here. Uh, we'll take a look at the book. 
right? Just like uh, uh, Kawika is, uh, is, is saying. Uh, so um, we can see that we've sold off down into this area. Um, and uh, let's take a look at a five minute chart, see if we see any other levels of interest here. This is looking pretty good. I like this 68 level. Actually, I would lower that a little bit, to be honest. Ah, I lost it. Okay, so let's just put it in here. Okay, and this is this is primarily why I'm interested in it, is uh, just a moment here. Okay, this is where we came down and we came back up and tested that area and sold right back off. Okay, so we'll probably see a flip of the book in this area, I'm imagining. Let's take a look. Okay, here's our 68 level. No, not really, not really too much of a flip. A little bit, not a very aggressive flip, that's for sure. Uh, when we're talking about an aggressive flip of the book, we're looking for uh, at this swing low here, a pretty high liquidity, which we do get. Uh, at 68, but then we're looking for this high liquidity on the bid to flip over on the offer. Now, this liquidity here, uh, this is giving us insight, okay? Uh, this this liquidity that is uh, on the bid uh, is now on the offer at higher levels, so they're not very aggressive. Uh, so usually when we break down to a new level, you will see them flip pretty, it depends, it, you know, you might see them flip very aggressively and then they'll want to be uh, sellers here. And uh, this will be the new uh, reality for price. It will be trading between 68 and, uh, well, the low here at 60, 63 or so. Okay. So um, let's, uh, let's, let's take a look here. So we were interested in this, uh, this area here uh, on our higher time frame, basically more, much more interested in, um, just a minute here, 61, right? Yeah, around the 61, 61, almost 62, okay, 61 to 75. Let's take a look, okay. All right, so here's 61, 75, and there's pretty high liquidity there, okay? So surprise, surprise. Uh, we don't know what that is. It, at that time, it was, uh, 832 contracts. So, you know, what a, what a difference uh, in uh, in liquidity. Uh, this is considered high liquidity now. Just a few days ago, this would have been low liquidity. So we're seeing um, some price movement uh, and not a lot of liquidity uh, in the marketplace at the moment. Okay, so that leads to more volatility. All right. So let's see. All right. Well, they're starting. We can see here uh, they're starting to get um, pretty aggressive on the uh, on the offer now at 67. Right. We were looking here at, at 69 just just previously, but now we're starting to see them getting interested here at 67. All right. So let's go back to the presentation uh, and let me go through this. Okay. So we're, going to, we're showing up to the auction, uh, and it is an auction, and we want to think of it that way. Uh, this is the model that seems to hold up really nicely for us, and we're looking uh, for the current configuration of the book. What does that mean? It means that we're looking for where are the majority of the buyers and sellers in the auction. Okay? We can answer that very quickly. Okay? In Bookmap, we can look at these high levels of liquidity. Okay? Here they are on the auction in the auction here, at 62 and three quarters. Here they are now. Look at them getting aggressive, very aggressive here. Uh, you know they were at 67. Now they're at 66. And that just happened. All right. That is the current configuration of the book. And, and some buyers are starting to get interest. They're starting to uh, to provide some liquidity, but they're pulling it uh, quickly here uh, between 64 and 65. Okay. So that leads into the next question in the auction. How do those uh, larger liquidity providers behave when price approaches them? Do they really show interest or they do, do they not? Uh, and that's what we want to read. We, so we're reading the context of their, their intent. Okay. So just think of going to an auction and you start to see a lot of buyers that when price comes down toward them, they, no, I don't really want to buy. I'm not that interested. Okay, uh, that's this kind of behavior we're seeing right here. 
Okay? That is the adding and pulling of liquidity at this price level. Okay. What about the sellers? Reading the context of the sellers, well, that's that's uh, uh, very different. Okay, 66 is uh, starting to change their mind at the moment, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens up here at 67 if we can get up there. All right. So we can read the content here, the context here at 60, 66. Price came up toward them. He pulled. As price goes away, they start to add right back in. All right. So um, uh, now look at them get aggressive, aggressive here at 65, okay? So um, uh, maybe we'll see a nice move down and into this swing here uh, and uh, some of the liquidity down here at 62 and three quarters, okay? You, can you understand that, 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 that flow that we just, we just saw, we just, uh, we just witnessed here, okay? Uh, reading the intent of these traders, uh, we, we, before this, before any of this happened here, uh, we were noticing these guys were starting to get interested, but not, not really. Very fickle, uh, pulling pulling their liquidity. They're really not interested in buying, whereas these guys look pretty intent on selling. All right, so um, uh, and that will skew the auction. All right, now combine that with uh, looking at them. Look at the aggressive um, market sell orders hitting the bid, and we're charging right down into this level here. Okay, well, we're a few ticks away from it. All right, we're getting a little bit of a rebound here. And now we'll see if these guys are still interested at 65. Okay, so let me, let me show you what I mean here. Okay, this was the current auction at, well, you can go even back further. This was the current auction when we started the webinar down here around 61 or so, and then 67, 68. Um, we, we notice the 67 a little later, okay? As I go forward though, the auction starts to change a little bit, showing some interest here, showing some interest at 67, and, 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 uh, and now 66, they're getting aggressive, okay? So there's more sellers than there are buyers, and they, and they wanna trade up at these levels, and it's pretty aggressive, because it's pretty close to price. And uh, we're starting to get this um, nice, uh, nice skew in the auction. Okay, there's more supply uh, at a lower level. Okay, and uh, and even more supply. Right, and that just continues to um, uh, skew that auction. Okay, now we see that now they're getting interested here on the bid though. Okay, so we're getting a nice little battle here that's going to shape up in a very, very tight little range here. Okay, uh, unless uh, unless someone starts to really uh, skew that auction again, or the buyers, the aggressive buyers or sellers take them on. Uh, Adrian, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. If if this is a basic overview, um, or if you lo are looking for a basic overview. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a question before here. Would you mind covering some of the contrast settings? Yeah, okay. Sorry, you're asking for a basic overview. Yeah, sure, no no problem at all. That's what these webinars are for. Okay. Um, all right. So, what are we, what are we, um, all, all of this heat map information here is derived from the limit order book. Okay, the, uh, the dome. Uh, these numbers here, the, these are contracts that are resting at these price levels where traders want to uh, be sellers here on the offer uh, and the depth of the offer. And these are the traders that want to be buyers on the depth of the bid. Okay, look at the nice little flip here as well. Okay, so um, now we've got a, a pretty big change here in the, in the, in the auction process. All right, um, so anyway, when these numbers, these numbers here, uh, in this, this is the current market window here, okay? Best bid uh, is the is dash green, best offer is the dash red, and this number is the last traded volume, okay? When you see these numbers change here, uh, you're gonna see the heat map change, okay? Now, we've got, and what Adrian is asking about here, uh, is using the contrast configurations, okay? Because we can, we can filter out a lot of the noise here. I mean, these numbers are constantly changing all day, all day long. Now, if I bring up the, you know, we can look at very specific uh, areas of uh, of brightness. Okay. 
and um, we can get into all the all the minutia and the details here uh, of the liquidity that is provided or or pulled. Right. So it depends on uh, on your settings. Now, if if we look at that, right, this this setting here, although there's a lot of detail, is it, is not helping. It's not helping me. I mean, it might it might help you depending on the way that you're. Your trading, your trading methodology. I'm not really too keen or interested uh, in the, uh, the the kind of shorter term liquidity here. I'm looking for those really bigger players, higher liquidity, okay, that jumps into the book or is in the book for a long time, okay, because that's going to have an effect on price. Uh, and um, but I'm just going to um, uh, show this to uh, demonstrate here uh, that these. Uh, very white areas are high liquidity uh, and darker areas are less liquidity. Okay. Now where this really gets interesting is we, all of this is recorded and then it's uh, transposed here onto the chart historically. So you can read the auction process. You don't have to read the, the dome any longer. It's all recorded for you and it's put input into the historical chart. So you can see that you know, between 66 and 67 previously, they were interested, okay? Will they be interested again is what we want to know. And they're starting to show some interest. Look at them come in here, okay? Even with this crazy setting here, all right? So uh, what um, what I like to do with the contrast uh, configurations is there, these are very powerful um, filters here, the white cutoff and the black cutoff. And what that means is I'm, I'm cutting off of the, uh, uh, well, it'd be better to describe it with using exact size, okay? So I'm going to input, and let's just take a look at the book here. All right, I'm, I'm going to input 1,000, okay? So any areas that have liquidity of 1,000 contracts or more are going to be bright white. Okay, all the rest are going to be scaled accordingly to those areas. Okay, you can use the same for the uh, the black cutoff as well. Okay, you can you can cut off the black at a certain point. So this is the cutoff level, a thousand. Okay, it's the same here with the slider, but it's just by, based on percentages. So if I slide it all the way to the right, okay, it's going to take the areas of highest liquidity within this view, which is going to be this area here. And it, it, that, that's going to be the brightest, and everything else is going to be scaled accordingly. As I bring this slider down, I'm allowing more and more liquidity to have meaning or significance. Okay? Uh, now, it's, it, it's like taking these 1,000 um, contracts that we had previously and bringing it down to like 800, and that will be the brightest. Anything above will be brighter. I mean, will be the same brightness. I'm sorry. Okay? So... Uh, play around with these filters first, all right? Uh, you can play around with the contrast as well. I usually just keep it at 50, okay? Uh, I find this large, and it's kind of a top-down approach here for filtering, okay? I find the large size highlight very helpful. I like to bring this up quite a bit. Uh, and it, what this does it, is it, it's targeting areas of very high liquidity and scaling those. Okay, so if I bring this all the way up to the right, it's those areas that are the highest, and it will show those areas, right? Okay, now the last one here uh, is the brightness, okay? You can really bring that brightness down here, and you can see that, um, well, if I bring the, the high liquidity large size highlight all the way to the, to the top, now I'm just targeting only that high liquidity, okay? This is a pretty extreme view. Now, a lot of, a lot of traders like this, actually. Uh, they, this is all they use. Uh, I've seen it. I've seen it many times. Okay. Uh, I, I prefer to see a little bit of detail. I want to understand the auction and the intent of some of these other traders. So uh, I'll bring up the brightness a little bit, and uh, I, I want to see a little bit of algorithmic activity. Okay. And um, uh, this looks pretty good. All right. Maybe the white cutoff I'll bring down just a hair. Okay. And uh, yeah, that, that looks pretty good for me. Okay, so I'll keep it at that. Now, if you, um, you know, if now, for example, today we can see the liquidity has changed dramatically in the book. 
Okay, we're looking at hundreds here, whereas the other day we're looking at thousands of contracts per price level. Now, what if someone jumps into this book with 1,500 contracts? Right, right, right here, <laughs> right at the same moment right, at 65, 1,400 contracts. That area is the brightest now, and in the other areas, uh, it's going to skew the book or the the heat map. Okay, so you might have to adjust for it uh, based on that. Okay, if we had the, um, we we can we can see that uh, by bringing up the white cutoff a little bit, and we can start to adjust it. All right, so. Um, uh, gives because uh, it's, it's going to be a representation. They're, they're referencing each other, and the, that's how the uh, the heat map operates. All right. So just a, a, all it takes is a little tweak uh, of the um, uh, contrast configurations, and and you'll get the the look that you want. Okay, Stefan. Uh, with the areas that are stronger under the gray. Yeah, well, it's not. I, I'm not going to define it as strength. Uh, I'm going to define it as it's just liquidity. Okay, gray areas are less liquidity. Uh, it, there's less. There are less contracts here on the offer than there were here at 67. Okay, by the grayscale. And can I identify the right side? Um, Okay, so uh, if I understand correctly, uh, Stefan, you're asking if I click on, the, I can use this tool here, the data tip tool, and let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, I can hover over these areas here with my mouse, and I have the date, the time, and I have the numbers here, the liquidity uh, historically, right? Now as I slide back and forth, you'll see those numbers change, uh, especially in these areas here because um, you can see Graphically, it changes as well. Okay, so that's how that works. If you want, if you want to see the actual numbers, okay, you can also see that same information in the lower left-hand corner. So you don't have to use this tool if you don't want to. Okay, um, Kawika. Okay, you want to go over some of the add-ons, large lot and imbalance indicators. All right. Okay. Well, let's just um, let's go over that. Uh, pretty trappy uh, activity going on here. Uh, let's let's take a look at. Uh, let me just cover this first. Uh, I want to look at the order flow here and what uh, what's kind of unfolding now. Okay, so we're starting to see here uh, at this uh, 63 level, this low here, okay, we've broken this downward trend line uh, and we're starting to trade up above in these areas now. Okay, previously we were looking at, uh, we were looking at 67 uh, and that 68 area too, that, but we were looking at a 68 very early on uh, in the webinar, right? Reason being was this over here. This is where that break occurred, and uh, and yeah, well we can see you know the the sellers are lining up here at 68. Okay. And again, I'm trying to I'm trying to read the intent here uh, of these traders. Uh, understand if they if they really want to trade at some of these levels or not. Uh, by now in. We always hear about these numbers. Oh, you know, you, you can never really uh, understand them because they pull their liquidity all the time. Well, that's true, but then how do you get filled, right? Now, these larger players, they'll they'll keep their contracts here if they want to get filled because they'll get the first uh, the first fill. It's a FIFO market, first in, first out. Okay, so if they mean business, they'll stay in the book. Uh, and we can read that behavior here. We can see high liquidity that stays in the book. Okay, look at these guys here. Okay, these buyers. Uh, there's no question about it. Like you know, they wanted to buy. The sellers are are hitting the bid here, uh, and and this liquidity just stays here. They want to get filled. 
Okay, uh, that's it. There's there's nothing there's nothing really to 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 argue at, at that point. These guys want to buy, and the sellers uh, are are taking their liquidity off of the uh, the best uh, best bid at that point. Okay, it's a nice example. Uh, we don't always get such a nice clear example. There's a lot of pulling and adding of liquidity, but we can look for, and what we look for here. Uh, is this liquidity to stay in the book and we, we want to see large dots that punctuate that large liquidity. Okay, So now this is, uh, they pulled a, a, a little bit, but we do see transactions. Okay, They went to a higher level and they started to pull too. Okay? But we are seeing transactions up in this area. Okay? So, uh, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're definitely um, uh, selling uh, or the transactions are, be, are being met. Right? So the uh, liquidity is being matched here with the uh, aggressive uh, aggressive market buy orders. And that's starting to flip right here. Okay. Now we see some aggressive selling coming in. Okay. And let's take a look. Let's look at a bigger picture here now. So what's going on? Okay. And we're back at R68 level that we were looking at. Okay on our higher time frame. Right? I had 67 here on the higher time frame, but um, then we looked at the book and then we noticed it was actually 68 that we're really interested in. Okay? So um I uh, and that that's another uh reason to to uh, to verify your higher you can verify your higher time frame levels here. Okay, because uh, you know we're looking. At, I'm I'm looking very clearly. I'm I'm interested in this area here at at sixty sixty seven and three quarters, uh, and we can see here instead it's it's really actually sixty eight and a quarter. All right, came up and just spiked into it. Okay, so um, uh, any any of the weaker hands here, any of these um, uh, sellers moving their stops down, well, a lot of them probably just got hit. Okay, so the market will now we need to continue to look here. Does does price accept above our level at 68 and a quarter? Not yet. Uh, clearly not yet. Okay, it's it, it spiked above it. We see the transactions take place, and it and it drops right back down into the range. Okay, so uh, we'll need to see what 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 are some of the things we want to see in the auction take place here. Okay, well we, we want to see um, uh, the the offer, uh, have them get aggressive again here uh, on that offer, okay? To uh, uh, show here at uh, at 68 and a quarter, a large size liquidity. Okay? They're going to support their decision. Uh, they wanted to go short. They wanted to be sellers up here. Well, I, I don't see them right now. Okay. Or maybe we'll see a skew here in the book and uh, on the uh, on the bid. Maybe they'll uh, raise the bid up into these areas here and support at a higher level. It's pretty pretty dark at the moment, so let's adjust for our our book. I'm just going to bring the white cutoff down a little bit. I'm going to bring down the large size a little bit, and I'm done. That's good good enough for me. Okay, so uh, now I can see uh, a little more detail here, starting to come in at 69. And that's not as aggressive as it was uh, previously. Okay. So they want to be sellers a little bit higher, maybe average into their price. I, I don't know. All, all we know, though, is, is for sure that uh, at 69 now they're starting to show some liquidity, and also at 70. We don't see the buyers getting, here they are. Okay, now they're starting to jump in okay, at 67. Okay, they're a few ticks away, so it's not the most aggressive, but it is it is more aggressive than anything else we see in the, in the current book. Okay, 69 is now starting to get interested too. All right, so let, we'll we'll watch this auction unfold here, but uh, let me get to some more questions, uh, and then we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, NQ, I do not have loaded. Uh, sorry, Adrian. Uh, Stefania, why don't you uh, reach out to me at support at Veloxpro? 
Com. I'll put the uh, email in here uh, regarding your uh, your question there. That would probably be best to uh, uh, discuss uh, discuss there. All right. Okay. Support at veloxpro.com. Um, all right. Well, okay. So looking for a little more uh, kind of understanding here or some of the phenomena and we're not getting clear you know really clear nice uh, examples of it uh, with that flip of the book it's really nice to see when you when you can see them they're on the offer and they're they're kind of here you know at, at 67 they're on the offer and they flip and now they're at 67 on the bid okay price will start to accept or we're looking to see uh, that you know price is being supported from this breakout area. Now the breakout really occurred down here, right? And uh, maybe uh, 66 and a half or so. So um, uh, it's it's really nice to see that, and uh, we're we're not seeing such a such a clean example. So it's a little muddled, uh, and um, uh, but we we can still read the order flow. No 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 question. No no problem here. All right. Okay. Oh, good morning, Seth. Uh, yeah, have a good weekend yourself. Let's see. Um, enjoying the daily reviews in the market, doing an amazing job. Thank you very much. Um, oh, cool. All right. Well, good for you. Um, yeah, all right. All right, Seth. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Uh, thank you very much. Um, all right, guys. Well, um, let's see here. Still still watching and... and uh, and uh, kind of waiting here. I mean, uh, 67 is, uh, they're staying here and it's starting to, you know, reading, reading this auction, now they're starting to pull. So it's, it's, a, it's kind of an odd day here. Um, but um, we haven't even gotten to reading the tape here. We've been just talking about the auction. Okay. In fact, to the point where we can even take the volume off. And you guys might want to consider doing this. Uh, I did this the other day with, um, uh, with a trader. Uh, and um, uh, they, they really liked it. Uh, and I, I've, I've, I've covered this before in the past uh, because we're, we're so accustomed to looking at uh, volume and understanding volume, uh, but we don't really understand the auction. That's because this, this kind of data has never really been uh, uh, available to us, but, but it is now. Right, we we can instead of trying to read these numbers here and and like a some sort of mathematical whiz uh, in the dome uh, that takes a lot of effort and 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 time to learn. Well, now you can just see it here graphically, right? But now you can see how it interacts with the chart uh, over time, which is uh, even that 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 whiz is not really going to be able to to put together, right? Because there's a lot of things to look at here. Uh, and um, uh, we can start to uh, to understand the auction process. Uh, and and these the, these levels of liquidity behave very much like people in an auction. Even even if they're algorithmic, it doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, you can still see their intent. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, maybe try that out. You know, uh, we didn't even get to traded volume today. So. Um, uh, reading the uh, the tape or the traded volume and the transactions is a whole whole another side of order flow, and that's traditionally what order flow is, uh, because that's that's stagnant. I mean, we we can that already happened, and we know where those areas are, right? But uh, I just I'll, I'll cover this with the um, uh, Kawika. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can click on the um, uh, this new tool configuration or uh, configure visible components, uh, and then you can turn them off here. Or you can go up to the studies configuration, volume dots here, and then you can just turn it off here. Right. And what you're looking for, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the heat map and, and show you, and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn off the heat map here, and I'm just going to show you the, the transactions, the, the traded volume. And let me just bring up that dot size a little bit. Okay, where are the majority of the dots uh, uh, trading, or you know the these these clusters of activity? Okay, that's what we want to read, 
And while you can now you can start to put that together here, I mean, we're we're getting kind of dots evenly dispersed all over the place. And that that's why the you know the the tape is uh, is a little hard to read today. Um, but uh, that said, uh, you can you can start to look for uh, where the transactions take place and the market. What that means is the market can trade at those areas, all right? Or in, in some of these cases, like over here, uh, before 1045, well, all of these uh, sellers down in this area, they're gonna be trapped. Okay? In fact, we come back down just before all of that cluster of volume and we trade right back up, okay? So um, uh, they're trapped for a number of points, okay? But you can see that uh, we did continue to the downside. Uh, so look for the clusters of activity because the market can trade there and you usually will get price discovery toward the direction of those uh, clusters uh, because it it can trade there. Uh, it has the potential to trade there and it has the, the potential to discover other areas too. Also look for these areas where it doesn't trade at all. Okay, Points of exhaustion and we just had a nice one right here at 66. Okay. Look at the, the the transactions that traded here. Okay, very few. Uh, we can also see there was really high liquidity here just by looking at the dome. All right. So um, now you, now you're starting to put the pieces together. Okay, high liquidity here. Okay, exhaustion. Okay. Looking for maybe a move back up into some of that traded volume. Okay. All right, guys. Yep, uh, hope that helps. Have a great weekend, and we will catch up with you on Monday. Take care.